Welcome to Locally, the channel that shines a spotlight on the people and places that make Southwest Florida truly special. I'm your host, Jude, aka JP, and I'm thrilled to give you a unique glimpse of this vibrant community of Lee County, Florida. Guys, do me a favor, go ahead and illuminate that subscribe button. Don't be left in the dark as I shed some light on the brightest stars in Lee County. Guys, we're here at El Gaucho Inca, located in Estero, Florida. I'm super hungry. I'm ready to try this Peruvian food. Let's check it out. All right, I'm here with Alejandro. Um, Alejandro, thank you very much for uh, being our, our awesome. So if you could just tell us about the menu, like something that you think that's really popular that would be great to try tonight. Okay, yeah, so we're a Peruvian and Argentina restaurant. So we have seafood, we have steaks. Uh, Peru usually use different peppers, so it's a little bit more spicy. So for the appetizers, I would recommend a ceviche. So it's a really traditional dish from Peru. So we have that traditional, this one here on the top. So it's a raw fish that is marinated on the lime juice. So, and we garnish with uh, corn from Peru, sweet potatoes, and a lettuce. So that one's really traditional, very really popular. Cool. Another one I would recommend is the grilled octopus. So there are two tentacles that are marinated on the pepper from Peru. So the pepper is ají panca, so it's more spicy. Uh, we, put, uh, we use uh, french fries, corn from Peru, sweet peppers, and we use a garlic sauce on top. So it's really popular, so it's really good. And another one that we recommend uh, is the fried calamari. So it's really crispy, it comes with fried yucca, so that one's really good too. You know what, I, I like that. So let's try the ceviche. Um, you know, am I saying it correctly? Yeah. Perfect. Ceviche, okay, all right. So uh, the ceviche usually can pick the spiciness. So we have plain, mild, medium, or hot. Plain, mild, medium, or hot? Yes. How hot is the hot? I if you say, say scale of one to 10. I would say an eight, nine, or we can make a medium, uh, put the hot sauce on the side, so you can add a little bit if you want more spicy. If, how do you get yours? I work on my medium. Okay, I'll do. Let's do the medium. Let's do the medium. Do you like the fish, the mix, or the fish and shrimp? Uh, the mix comes with what? Uh, mix is fish, shrimp, calamari, octopus, and mussels. Um, do you have like a fish and shrimp? Yeah. Probably. Okay, I'll do that one. And then I like the the fried calamari. Fried well, calamari. Actually, yeah. I'm okay. Sure. Awesome. Thank you, guys. I didn't know how adventurous I was gonna be today, but he made it sound good, <laughs> right? So. Um, I'm not going to do the raw octopus. I, it looks great on the pictures and whatnot, but nah, your boy's staying away from that today. Not tonight, not tonight. But um, the ceviche, I'm excited to try that. Ceviche? Oh, wow. And he's on extra hot sauce, he's going to add it. All right, guys, so this is my first ceviche dish. Tim, you gotta, woo. It is great. So, guys, we have um, shrimp, corn, or Peruvian corn, it looks like, um, some carrots as well in the lime, I'm gonna call it a lime broth, but in the lime juice. Um, so I'm excited to take a, take a couple of bites in this. <laughs> Here we have the ceviche, All right? So I like the fact the corn was sitting right here in the juice and the broth. I can taste the spice. So good. I love spicy, so I got the medium. I don't know how I'm supposed to eat this shrimp, but I'm using my fingers, don't care. Mm. If I had a hat, I'll turn it backwards. Mm. This is excellent. You, excuse me. You taste the citrus um, of the lime, of course. But you have the corn. It's like a roasted corn. Um, it's not the same texture as like a normal kernel of corn, but this is really good. Oh my gosh. I didn't think, I thought I was going to be scared to eat the, the raw meat or whatever, but it's very good. Um, this right here is the fish. Not sure what type of fish it is, but it is excellent. You gotta come to El Gato Inca and try the ceviche. It is phenomenal. Let me get the other dish is the fried calamari. Thank you. And Alejandro, this right here, these are the Those yuca. are fried yuca. yuca. Okay, can you explain like what yuca is? So yuca is similar to a french fry, it's a root. So we deep fry it as well. So it's really good. Enjoy. Awesome. Thank you so much. This presentation is sick. So guys, we have the fried calamari. Um, this isn't like your rinky dink calamari. Like you can tell the fried presentation and everything. It is extremely fresh. It, it, it smells great. 
And you know my thing about limes. If I see a lime on a plate, that means you want me to use it. So we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle this on here. Maybe act like I'm salt bay or something. I'll just use my fork, but the onions, oh man, this, I should have asked what type of sauce this is. It looks like a honey mustard sauce or something. Southwest Florida, we got a problem. Inca is nothing to mess with. This food is excellent. Woo! Extremely flavorful. Taste the onions, the acid of the onions, the, um, the citrus from the lime. I'm gonna take the yuca too and dip it in this hot sauce. See what it tastes like. It was great, just like a french fry. Take a look at that. It has a texture of a potato, but kind of like a sweet potato, kind of. This calamari is on point, y'all. I'm telling you. This one is our fried rice. Uh, this one right here, the fettuccine verde with entraña. And wow. this one is our homemade chimichurri sauce for this. This right here? Yes. Okay. Uh, quick question, Alejandro. Yes, what was this one again? So those are two slices of boiled potatoes with okay. a creamy sauce made with a ji amarillo. It's a yellow pepper from Peru. It's okay. like a mild spicy and really creamy. All right, awesome. Thank you so much. Okay, Guys, so uh, we have the fried rice uh, first. I don't like eating rice with a fork, so <laughs> I'm eating it with a spoon. That way there's no rice escaping me. Uh, but this is the fried rice with shrimp, steak, chicken. Take a look, look at the steam coming off of that. So good, I forget the oil that they use to um, to fry fried rice. I can taste that, it's so good. Um, I can smell the mushrooms, the earthiness of it. This is, their shrimp is so, so they're huge, huge pieces of shrimp. So, watch this shrimp. This is great. You'll love it, guys. I'm glad I asked for the fried rice because it's so good. Look at all the vegetables that are in that rice, too the veggies, the fresh eggs, cracked eggs. Awesome. Let's do this. Right here, our homemade empanadas. Awesome. These two beef, and that one is chicken. And enjoy. Thank you so much. We're gonna see what type of magic we can get. All right. So you see this right here. See the empanada, right? So look at the crimping on the empanada. So I'm gonna break this apart and let's see what type of gooeyness we can get out of it. Okay. Whew, I'm gonna burn myself. Look at that. Look at the steam, the fluffiness, the crispiness too of the empanada. All right, let's try it. Fantastic, it's starting to make me sweat. <laughs> it's so good. This one right here are the pisco sour. It's okay. the most popular uh, cocktail from Peru. So we have two flavors. The traditional is made with lime juice and this one is made with passion fruit. So pisco is a Peruvian brandy. So we made that with pisco, simple syrup, egg white, and uh, lime juice. Egg white, really? really? Yes. Okay. So the egg white gives it the foam. Got it. All right. Enjoy. Thank you so much. You guys know the rule. You put a lime on it, so he wants me to use it. Cheers. Oh, that's smooth. That's dangerous. Because I'll sit here and just drink this all day. <laughs> but that's super good. I don't remember what he said the name was. We'll probably have to rewind it back somewhere, but. This one right here are the pisco sour. This is like, put that pinky up. Excellent stuff. I don't know what this one, I think he said was the traditional one. So, salut, cheers, pinky up. Man, both are good. This one might be my favorite. The traditional, okay, I'm a traditional person, so tastes pretty good. Guys, getting to have an awesome bar. Tons of uh, wine that you can choose from. The food's already excellent, so if you're coming for a date night, this is a perfect, because the ambiance in here is excellent. You'll love the decorations, you'll love the food, more importantly, you'll love the staff as well. But this is a, a great opportunity for you guys to come check this place out. Definitely come check out El Gacho Inca. Hey guys, Jude here, your favorite realtor. We're here with Rocio, the owner of El Gacho Inca. Um, Rocio, if you don't mind, tell us a little bit about yourself and you know how you started with the business as well. Okay, so I'm Rocio, and my husband and I, my husband is Mariano Maldonado. He's the chef and the owner. And he's from Argentina, and I'm from Peru. 
So that's why we want to join the yeah. two cultures here. So the Peruvian cuisine along with the Argentinian cuisine. Awesome. So food's excellent. My favorite dish was the fettuccine verde. Oh yeah. Which was recommended by Alejandro. If you come here guys, yeah. the whole staff is great, but Alejandro was excellent too. You know, is that that one's more of an Argentinian dish or is that yeah. a food? Actually, mix? actually that dish is the fusion of the two countries because the fettuccine verde is very traditional in Peru. And with the state that we put on top, this entraña, this is this is a typical Argentinian state cut. Mm. So that's what we call so the, the truly fusion for the fettuccine verde with entraña and picuchera. Really good. <laughs> awesome. So we're big into working with um, restaurants that are here locally as well. Um, how many jobs in total do you think you've been able to contribute to our great city? Uh, well, so we have three restaurants, El Gaucho Inca for Myers, El Gaucho Inca Estero here, and two doors from here we have El Gaucho del Café. Uh, so we have like around 60 to 60 uh, uh, jobs with, yes, with our team. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's a lot of employees, right? So yeah. we're actually going to stop by next door to check out the bakery that they have as well. Um, but Rocio, we thank you so much for oh, giving us an opportunity to my come. My pleasure, Food thank you. Excellent. Yeah, my pleasure to, to having you guys. Peace thank you. Peace. Guys, we had an excellent time here at El Gaucho Inca, Peruvian, Argentinian food. Food was excellent. I loved eating the, uh, the I, I can't remember the name of the dish. Tim, help me out. Write it below here so everybody knows what it is. But it was like the pasta verde or Argentinian verde, something like that. But it was excellent. Everything, everything was just like my steak was succulent, it was juicy. The, um, it was like not too much salt, but still had salty. It was like, it still had enough salt, you know what I mean? Um, the drinks, the passion fruit juice, um, that was one of my favorite drinks as well. Um, I also love the, um, the fried rice. So if you wanna come guys, El Gacho Inca, not if you wanna come, you have to come this weekend or next weekend or the next day, don't miss out. You have to come to El Gacho Inca, you're gonna love the food. The food's great, they got the meats. <laughs>